Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that one will be fine and welcome back to another part two. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you about how we can create a new ad listing for the contact. So right now we have only two links, the home link and the contact link. But now next we have to create a new ad contact link here. And once we click on it, this is going to display us all the fields for it. And but before jumping directly into it, we need to create the API. So first uh, we have to create the API. So let's jump into the code. And I have already running my server with the PHP artisan serve. Um, I hope I have opened up on my, yeah. Uh, if you're using VS code that want to be good so that's where you can uh, simply type here PHP artisan serve and on the second one you need to run on your bash npm run dev right which I, I already run that all right so so the first thing I'm going to do here is to first go to my routes and go inside your web.php and that's where I'm going to create my very first API so let's jump into my web.php and write here a post here so let's create here a route so save context and i'm gonna give it the route and the request should be a post request because we are submitting the data right so inside here i'm gonna give my route uh, url which is save underscore contact the name of the controller just want to make a little large in size so you guys can see properly all right so we have our contact controller at the rate R and the name of the method. I'm pretty happy with the same name, right? Okay, so just copy that um, method name and go inside your contact controller, which I'm going here, right? So just after the get request, which we have already created, uh, the method which we have created already. Now down here, I'm gonna create here our contact save underscore contact. Now we need to pass here the request. So let's pass up the request because we are submitting the request. And uh, here inside the method of contact controller, we have to, uh, we have multiple fields. So if I go up inside my database and just want to show you the migrations that we created for the, so we have our name, email, bio, contact number, designation, and the image, which is actually, uh, we are also uploading the file. So make sure that we have to write the code for our image, right? So first thing I'm gonna do here is to define my model, which is contact equal to new contact. Basically new is what we are creating a new object for the model, right? Which is the contact model, right? And next after here, we are uh, we have to check because the image is uh, not compulsory. So I'm going to uh, uh, define here a condition for the if request that if the request and has actually is a method, uh, a very useful method, which check if the request it will return the Boolean if the request has the image and make sure that we are also applying another condition and it's not empty, right? So make sure that, so let's pass here the image. So check, so basically it will check if the request has the image, if we pass the image and it's not empty. So what I'm gonna do here is I, I'm gonna save it in my database with a function with like a time function. And uh, I also need to, uh, so what actually I'm doing is whenever I save this data, this is gonna show in some random time and so. You can see it later on so i'm also concatenating that with the time and i'm gonna type the name whatever the name of the image which is request of image and next i'm gonna pass here is the get client original extension right so which is a very useful function in laravel and php right so get client original extension make sure that you spell it right so I hope it's, uh, it's what it says. It says the request unexpected error, right? I, I just forget to bring here dot for the concatenation, it just saves it, right? Okay, so we have get the request of the image with the get client original extension. And let's pass, the, and once this request has been passed, we need to save it in some specific folder. So what I'm gonna do here is, Let's give it the request for the image and move this image inside my uh, a very useful function in Laravel, which is the public underscore path, which is the 
which is the root directory so i'm going to pass here public underscore path and inside that the directory that i want to here apply is inside the public folder which is the moon uh, which is the root directory i want to move my image in the inside this folder so after the public slash images slash and the name of the folder in my case which is gallery and uh, just after that let's pass up here the image name all right so i just want to give that name to be image name so basically this is the name of the image whatever the image is going to pass and save inside our database so i'm going to pass up here let's pass up with the dollar right okay so just after that once we have moved the image and now i need to make sure that the path should be when i want to extract the image so that should be public slash images slash gallery and uh, um, let's pass here the image name all right so that should be my path and uh, inside my contact and uh, with the image and pass here the path so what actually i did here is so when we save this image inside the folder it should be go inside the same directory with the same image name and uh, we have to save the image in the inside the, that path so this should be the uh, con this contact is coming from this model which is a new uh, contact and this is going to save inside this uh, inside this given path all right I hope it makes sense to you. So um, I'm planning to make a video on complete CRUD using Ajax and Jury, uh, jQuery for the image. And if you have still any confusion about that, so make sure that you understand all the concepts. It's very simple. Like if the request has image and it's not empty, this is gonna save with some uh, image name inside your database. And we have to move this image inside this path. And and when, while the uh, whatever the image name we pass inside the folder, this should be this should follow the same rule for the image name and this is going to save inside the path that we want to uh, save so it's very simple it's just like you are you you send the request to the database or uh, and and just like i i'm going to do the same stuff for my rest of the uh, field so you can see this is the contact this is basically coming from the new contact model and we pass the name and uh, th this request uh, will get the name right same for the e email same for the designation and bio and the contact number right so we have all the fields up and uh, defined here and now if we are going to give a request here so if the contact is saved and we need to return the response so let's pass up here return response json and uh, inside that i'm going to pass here the status so let's define here the status and uh, let's give it the status to be true and make sure that if the request or uh, if the contact is uh, saved perfectly and the status is true that's we can check from the view later on and uh, we're going to pass up the message with the keys and value uh, so let's pass up here that contact added successfully. All right, so now we have save our contact save successfully. And I'm going to pass up here another request. Let's pass up here another response. So return response JSON. And let's pass up here in the other case if the status is false and uh, then in that case the message should be that there is some problem so let's give it here please try again all right so we saves it and uh, this is going to pop some error because i forget to bring those square brackets and now it just saves it it's everything works well so i just need to cut that actually this should be if that condition is if the contact is not saved perfectly right so i hope it makes sense to all of you and uh, we are pretty much much good to go from here right so we have uh, done everything here now open up your post man if you just to check this out everything works well so i'm gonna open up my postman 
All right, so now my postman is open and uh, all you need to do is to, because we are uh, using the post request, so go to your post request and type here the 127.0.0.1 and the port number is 8000 slash API slash and the name of the API, uh, a route of the API, which is save underscore contact. Now, because we are using the post request, if I just try to submit my data, this is going to show me an error for the CSRF token, which is 419. And the reason why actually it's uh, I have this uh, error because I have uh, inside my web.php, I gave it my route, which is uh, not protected uh, because of middleware. Now, if I just want to give uh, put this route inside my API.php, and because of this middleware, uh, we can, uh, this is going to, add the CSRF token and protect us from uh, giving us the um, uh, from the request forgery which is a 419 error so we need to add this route inside the api.phpn which is the basically which is the best approach and uh, just want to show you what actually it happens if i just try to add my route inside my um, web.php so let's let's set up a try here so i need to go to my headers and let's give it here the, on my key just type here content dash type and let's give it the value of application slash json the our format is in json format right the keys and values pair and after that you need to go to your body and let's go into your um raw and just type here some add some fields so let's suppose if i want to give it her name and if I just want to write here name and this is gonna give me in double quotes. Now, because I'm adding a string, so let's give it a name and let's give it here another name. Let's uh, put here email and uh, give pass here test at the rate gmail.com. Oops, actually this should be um, comma. All right, so I, I put up your email and now if I just try to uh, send the request and I just click press enter, and you see that we we get the status of 419 unknown status and it this, this occurs just because of the um uh, of the uh, uh, csrf token so in order to do that all i'm going to do is just just remove that all the route and the prefix that i gave so just move this all and it's it's very much identical what i did in the last uh, in my video for where i created the api and you i want to give that link as well if you want to review that so because of putting this inside it now i won't give i i don't get any error related to the 419 and non-status and one more thing i need to tell you that inside api.php it will automatically your route should be slash api slash save underscore contact right now if i just now i want to apply every single field which i have created now in uh, just after that we have our designation so let's give it a test and let for the bio let's give it their bio and give it the name of let's suppose test and uh, for the contact number so let's pass here contact underscore number and give it the uh, of 555 five, five, something like that all right now I'm not gonna add the image because we have already uh, test through the uh, because once I will upload something and this gonna add inside the folder you can do here image but I believe that's fine for now and we can later on test the image which will be uh, we already created the API or and we can route from the view so and with you with the help of form data I can I, I will uh, post the data I will submit the form right so let's hit a try of send and if I click on it and you can see the status is true and the message is contact added successfully which we can preview when we will work with the view as a framework. Right? All I need to do is to go here inside my database and if I click here and you could see now we have our data inside here. We have the ID, we have the name, email, bio, contact number, designation. So that's it. I believe you can learn from here. In the next video, we can we can add the API and work as a framework. So, uh, so make sure that you keep subscribe and like this video. And I want to see you in the next part.